was cracking everybody we're back in the studios and we're doing a showcase this time on the legendary 1966 classic batmobile on it's the final <laughs> So all of the cars on the video right on the video on the close up right now the red one from Kroger's the Spectre Flame Black uh, Hot Wheels ID Chase one are all in front of you right now but in the background you have all the previous ones that we either opened or collected over the years uh, but the two in the front is from 2020 and so is this one so we're gonna open this one too to join his brothers or her sisters. You can, you can tell the you can tell the difference because all the rims are the same. Yeah, yeah. Which are good but rims. Good, yeah, that's what I was just gonna say. The rims are actually really nice. Yeah. These are one of the better rims that they they put out. Okay, so we're gonna crack this one open. Uh it goes along with the I guess brothers or sisters or brother and sister, uh from uh, we do, so the, we're gonna say brothers. Yeah. <laughs> Even but though one thing we I like about that one is um, the rims. The rims on, on, on the 2020 Batmobiles are really nice. Yeah. I really yeah. like that, that uh, style of rims. Yeah. So um, I saw, uh, we're going to give a shout out to Mike Dyson. Mike said he found two of these and he ripped those wheels out because he likes these wheels. Oh, uh, well, Mike's got good taste just like me. Yep. Uh, well, I think all of us because I think like we all like me, those. You like them too, so. Yeah. <laughs> and we as in us, not. That, yeah. <laughs> not yes in French. <laughs> That's my uh, TIM college. <laughs> <laughs> and it, what an education it was paid for. <laughs> oh, yes. $8.64 a year. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so I think what I wanted to look at on all of these was. Um, the features that this release has and you can you can see the spectra flame black you can barely yeah. see the the stripes on the hood but the black one the regular black one you can see that pretty clear and it's it's obvious on the red one because it's a lighter color over a darker color but the the regular black it they did make it more like a flat no would, would that be more like a gray a dark gray <laughs> yeah kind of so it kind of blends in almost like a ghost a ghost color so you can see the big difference between the black and the and the, the id chase wow yeah yeah which is which is weird because you would think that spectra flame black would be black but spectra yeah. flame black is actually a really darker gray yeah it's like a clear gray sprayed over chrome yeah yeah multiple times it's a good uh it's a good color i mean i like it it is just yeah, it, it does is. get kind of confusing when you look when you say black and you're actually looking at a really dark gray uh car and i, I believe the interior i believe i think the interior for the original batmobile was red anyway um, I don't know. I don't remember. I mean, I have the 118 scale one, but I don't know how true to uh, original that is. I'm going to put it on the overhead, but it has a black interior. So we'll, we'll bring that out again towards the end of the video. I'll move everything out of the way. Uh, but yeah, this is the 2020 ones. I'm going to move these on the side for now. If you want to see this cracking open, uh, that's the previous video. You can check it out on the end screens or we can link it right there. And you can go check out that video. But come back to this one and finish this one out. So what are we looking at now? We did our gold Batmobile. 
Yeah. And uh, this is not the convention one. This is a custom <laughs> one that that we bought, and that was kind of a that was a fun video actually. <laughs> that was that was really yeah. good fun. We got every we got a lot of people with that. I know. Yeah. You know, uh, Greg and Mike and. <laughs> yeah. We got a, we got a few of them dudes. That was that was cool. So we'll you know, probably. We're stupid, but we're not that stupid. <laughs> <laughs> We'll probably do a podcast uh, on that one later. Maybe give it a week, and then we'll come back and read off all the comments, and uh, and see who we got and who we didn't get. <laughs> yeah, and also, also what we got, what we got to do too is. So, I, I uh, did we mention this in the video when we were do, when we did it about uh, that they came up with a New Year's Eve custom. I think uh, you might have alluded to it, but we didn't get into it. So we gotta we gotta show everybody what the New Year's the twenty twenty one New Year's Eve gold Batmobile looks like too, and oh. see what I want to see what people think. Was that like, a New Year's a Eve? I thought the the they did a green one for New Year's Eve. No, they did a gold one. They did a green one, and they did a red one. Oh. And they did the pink one, which we both know look like magenta, look purple. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. uh, let's break that off into its own video. We can look at all of those custom ones. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Because this one definitely is a custom one. This is not uh by Hot Wheels. So, but we wanted gold ones, and we didn't want to spend twelve hundred, uh, uh, you know, eight hundred to yeah, twelve hundred exactly. dollars. So we got this one, and I, I'm whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that makes twice. <laughs> First you drop them, now you turn and flip them. <laughs> yeah. So um, we didn't have to spend that much. You know, we yeah. didn't even, I think we paid, what, 1% of that, maybe? I don't know. Yeah. That's but, the only way we could afford that because if it was, if it was, even if it was at the original price, we still couldn't pay for it. Yeah. It was too much. I still think this is a, it's a stunner. This is like. Oh, it is. It's going to look absolutely awesome next to the gold one. Uh, sorry, the silver one. Even though yeah. it is a custom one. Th that color is phenomenally amazing. Like yeah, once, the best. You, once you take off those ugly rims off the silver one. Yeah. And put your real riders on them. Oh, it's going to look immaculate. Yeah, yeah. So let's take a look at that silver one since we brought it up. This is a convention car. Um... This is the Mexico convention, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. The one we kept saying, or we said the, the gold, gold one, one was the Mexico <laughs> convention. In actuality, it was the chrome one, this one here. The chrome one, yeah. And there's something on this chrome one that I didn't notice until we were looking at the ID one. When I was watching back the video, I noticed that on the ID one... You see, in between the seats where the beacon is, it's clear. Yeah. On the chrome one, they painted it black. Ah. And then painted the beacon red with you silver. You can't even on top. see that. It just blends in with the interior. Yeah, yeah. And I think I noticed that on... No, it was. It was only this one. Because I went back to look at the convention... LA convention one and that one is painted black down the middle like the chrome one yeah. which is a oh, good feature so I mean, it makes it look nice just a little factoid over here I'm actually looking at the actual Batmobile and yeah. the interior is black yeah oh okay but cool. it, it has red accents like the yeah stitching yeah, the stitching, the um, rimming on the on the seats, yeah. and some of the dials, and you know uh, the logo stitched in to the back of the seat, the fire extinguisher, stuff like that. So yeah. Oh, so my so my one eighteen scale one is not. Uh, it doesn't have the that piping on it. Oh. Maybe yeah. I'll just go take a red uh, <laughs> marker and. You take a red sharpie, go over them. Yeah, go over them. <laughs> So this is uh, well, this is the chrome one from Mexico convention. 
That is really and nice. Here is the pink one. This was part of the Grail membership. Right? Again, the camera doesn't do it justice, man. Yeah, the camera doesn't do it. I mean, there's a pearl over that pink um, that I can see here in the studio that makes it way more better. <laughs> yeah, you guys got to see that thing, you know, in person. It looks hella better, man. Yeah, so the only other uh, premium Batmobile that we don't have seated here is the holiday one that one is sitting in the box still and I have to go get it out so we don't have the holiday one I do have it but I don't have it here so yeah I know you got it because I remember you showed it to me yeah so there's there's a pink one again um, this one just needs a wheel swap and it'll be perfect yeah. which I'm working on wheels I mean I have a set of wheels here but I, I wanted to try and get some deep dish ones and uh and use that instead so i'm thinking of working out a deal with somebody who, who makes uh, uh real riders custom real riders and so that i can get something very unique for them so uh that is going to be the last of the premiums now after the pink one the only other one we have is this one which was the mail-in batmobile yeah, that's nice. Yeah. So this one is this one also is one that I got as an unspun. So it was easy to do a wheel swap because the bottom comes out. So I, there's a little yeah. tape on there just to keep the bottom from popping off. But I took the real riders off of this, which was those red line deep dish ones. Which is, those look good too. Those were nice. Oh, yeah. But the gold with the lettering looks way better. Yeah, I remember when we put those on it, it was like... Wow. <laughs> yeah, it transformed that 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 sixty six yeah. into like into like an an amazing piece right there. Yeah. It gave it some kind of uh octane boost to its look. <laughs> <laughs> uh was this twenty eighteen? I think this was a was a twenty eighteen mail in car. Yeah, it's twenty eighteen. So I do have a mail in one. Um in the package still and I think I got two I may have given you one right yeah I got one for my gift <laughs> yeah it was a it was a Christmas gift I believe yeah that I kind of hid on the side for the whole year <laughs> <laughs> okay so I believe this one is a 2019 uh, release of the Batmobile I can't remember for sure white interior yeah, well, it's, it's kind of like with a white interior. It's more like a like a really light silver. Oh, it is okay. Yeah. Well, I'm ten thousand miles away, so that thing looks white. <laughs> <laughs> and I believe all the ones coming up, all the next Batmobiles coming up, all have the same interior. Uh, so this one is one, and and this one is kind of true to the original, with the red lines on the car accenting its. Uh, its features um it also has the red on the hood right there for the yeah. where the the air intake is and let's see let me pull this one because this is a this is more like a dark gray yeah i think the other one is uh the other one was a that's like a that's like a like a gloss dark black. charcoal gray yeah metallic this... charcoal gray almost oh. <laughs> I'm trying to look I'm trying to look in the, the close up and hold the car you and I keep Batman. and I keep dropping it that's okay it fell on Robin's side <laughs> <laughs> all that matters is the left side gotta look good that's where Batman is <laughs> yeah Batman's still alive look at my Robin <laughs> now all the Robin fans gonna hate us <laughs> yeah actually I'm a Robin fan too so I, I cast some shade on Robin <laughs> <laughs> this one I thought was a unique look to it because it, they kind of added kind of scalloping to look like yeah uh, like web like cobwebs on it yeah yeah I thought that was kind of cool it brought a is different that faster than ever wheels that is the faster than ever wheels that's right 
And then I, uh, this next one, I have no clue w when this one was. But notice it has a blue windshield. And the only other blue windshield was the gray one. So I'm assuming they may have been the That one looks same. like it came out in 07. The one because I had an 07 one. Looks like that. Oh, okay. So this was With a the long. the faster than ever wheels. Oh, that's right. Those are old. I don't think they use those anymore. They use the new... The yeah. faster than ever two wheels, which is the one that looks like the pizza cutter one, or pizza yeah. wheels. They should rename that uglier as ever. Yeah, uglier than ever. <laughs> yeah. Poor guy who designed that one. Yeah. Okay, he's so the. Eating us right now. <laughs> so the but last. I'm sure he's up at late night watching us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope not. Please don't use it against us. Make us something cool. <laughs> So the next one we're going to put up is, I believe this was maybe 2015, 16 maybe, time era. Yeah. Uh, going into, I'm sorry, maybe 2017 because this being flat black with gloss black oh, flames. Check, yeah, check, yeah, you see how that angle? Yeah. How you holding it? You can see the flames real good. Yeah, that is, this one, remember, I, I'm, I remember asking you about... Did you see the flat one with the with the gloss yeah. flames? And he I was think like, this 2017, you know. Yeah, because that same year they also had the Super Treasure Hunt. Spectre yeah. Flame Black, and it has all the flames, but this one is more like a ghost flame on top of the gloss uh, Spectre Flame Black. Yeah, this one is beautiful. I'm glad I got this. I got this on dirt cheap, but... I was buying a collection off of a guy. He had all Batman themed cars. It was about 85 of them. And I only say 85 because I bought them all for 85. And it was a dollar each. But he's like, hey, do you want the super? It's going to be like, Windows says no. <laughs> so I bought those and he was like, <laughs> So, I'm, not to, I'm not trying to be a dick, folks. Like, I'm just looking up the super. That's all. <laughs> so, um, when I went and bought that uh, collection of Batman cars, it, so it's a lot of different Batmobiles. It had the animation ones. It had the, what do you call that ugly one? Um, the Asylum one? Yeah. Yeah, and it yeah. had... Oh, no, that's the, the big nose one, right? Uh, no, it kind of looks like a utility. Oh, that's the... Um, the paving car. Yeah, the asylum. Yeah. Arkham Asylum. Arkham Asylum, that's the one. And and I, and what intrigued me was that it had a lot of... Uh, the bat cycle, had bat planes, had um, character cars from Joker to Penguin to... Uh, Mr. Freeze, I think. I can't remember right now. But yeah, so and then so I bought that collection for 85 and he was like, hey, do you want the super? It's gonna be like 15 bucks more. I was like, yes. 15 bucks more? Yeah, I paid 15 bucks for this. Damn. Yeah. I don't think I ever told you that. Cause no, because it's smart that you tell me on camera. Because <laughs> at the time, this was selling... 70 to over a hundred yes yeah so i was like trying to hold back the excite excitement i was like sure i'll pay you 15 dollars more thank there's you there's a loose one right now on ebay for 39 bucks well 40 bucks plus with shipping is like four dollars so 44 bucks for a loose one yeah i remember there was some really cheap ones that came out and i was a uh, when I found out that they were coming from China, I was like, "Oh, they must be, they might be counterfeit ones." Yeah. So, because it was cheap at twenty five bucks, right? Yeah. So the last one in one sixty four scale is the Zamac, and this one, this one I am only assuming came from the same year that the flat black and the super came from because 
it's got ghost flame also and that's not coming up well on the camera it switch sides see this here yeah, that that might look better now so we have oh okay I got the gear the super is 2016 oh 16 okay yeah so that's our 164s I do have and I'm gonna put this on the overhead I do have now dusty 118 scale one. Oh my god, look at the size of that thing next to the All I see is the rims, bro. <laughs> yeah, this thing is huge. And I've had this a really, really long time. Okay, so here we are back. Uh, we have to take a break. I wanted to put the the car on a, on the Lazy Susan. So. And we have to do auto detailing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was kind of getting on my nerves. There was a lot of dust on it. So I wanted to stop and clean that off. So here it is, the 118 scale Batman Batmobile, 1966 Batmobile. So it does have opening doors. And you can see the rims. That's what the rims are supposed to look like. The yeah. logo on the rims, but again, difficult to do on a 164, but not on a 118. Yeah. And that's why I've always collected 118 because you can get detail like this. Yeah. Uh, however, it does take up a lot of room, so. Yeah, yeah. Can't beat the detail on the 118s, man. Yeah. So unfortunately, the the hood and the trunk doesn't open on this. I don't think it does. I think if you force it, it can. Yeah. Maybe I'll just stick a screwdriver in there and just pry it open. Pry them open. <laughs> <laughs> So that's that's only moving features on this car is the doors. However, it it does have this little antenna thing. I should lift you up so you can see it too. Um, it does have this little thing on the hood. Oh yeah. And uh, the one thing it is missing. Oh no, it's not missing. But. Oh, look at the dome light. It's not even a full light. It's like a metal piece with the light on top. Wow. Oh no, that's uh, that's the normal light. The light is inside that silver piece. I'm gonna yeah, it's inside, yeah. Yeah, so I'm sh I'm getting you closer, but they cannot see your face. And <laughs> 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 hey, you know, you know, if it, no one can ever say you know multitask, dude. <laughs> yeah, and that's why I'm I'm probably bumping all the cameras. Everybody's thinking there's an earthquake and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> here's a cool feature on the back I don't know if you can see it because I got the camera on it here um, it does have what looks like parachutes in the back yeah. next to the the flame the flame thing I think you can see part of it there yeah I see it Yeah. is that actual wraps uh, it's plastic so it looks like it but it's, wow. it's hard plastic uh, what else is cool about this? What you're looking at is a 118 scale Hot Wheel. When Hot Wheels made 118 scale, um, that's when I bought this. I think I got this from Kmart too. So what get... year? What year was that? Um, shoot, it has to be back in the 90s, you know. And I think I got it. And I was squawking about paying like 20 bucks for it or something. But this Hot Wheel version of the Batmobile in 118 scale is about, you know, three, well, four hundred bucks. I'm looking up one now. So, um, is you it? got the one from Hot Wheels. Uh, one is for um, uh, the 1966 Elite 118 Limited Edition. Two hundred dollars. You got another one that's seventy-five dollars. All open bids. Let's see what they sell for. What they actually sell for? Uh, about eighty. Uh, about seventy-five dollars. Oh yeah, that elite one is the one that I got. Yeah. At the you got, you got different ones that are cheaper, but if you got the 
elite one, then yeah, it'll, that's way more expensive. And if that's the one you got for like twenty bucks, that's a killer deal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. Because the all the rest of these aren't aren't. Uh, oh my gosh, there's a elite one eighteen chrome version. Wow, chrome version. Wow, it sold for three hundred twenty nine dollars. Damn. Oh, dude, that is nice. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I spend that now. Oh yeah, no, no. I'm sure when this thing first came out, yeah, like I would, I would drop a hundred bucks for that. Although, wow, there's only three thousand made. It's even numbered. It's a pretty good um, uh, run. Wow, that's unreal. But that's almost like an RLC, man. But you know, it is a one eighteen scale, and and they didn't sell a lot of these, so. That's why Hot Wheels, I think, got out of it. I'm sure now all people will buy it now because there's a way, way choke collectors now. I'm glad I got these when I did because, I mean, I wouldn't spend that much money now. <laughs> oh, no. Definitely not. Even I though mean, I, I, wish I, was, I wish I seen it. I would have bought it. Do you still have the box for it? No, I discarded. I threw that all away. Once I put them oh. in the display case and in the apartment downtown, um, I did dump the boxes. I wish I kept them because the box was a pretty good display case for it. But I, I do have a 118 skill uh, display case that this was sitting in on my desk before uh, we moved the desk out of the, the house where we got rid of the desk. So I brought it into the studio. Um, I'm you trying know, to see if yours is numbered too. I think yours is, yeah, the Elite Series. I think they're numbered, dude. Um, well, yeah, yours is numbered. Number two, 16,966. 16, okay, I'm trying to look underneath. I don't see any numbers on them. It says it on the box. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, that box is long gone. <laughs> It's it's creating methane in Waimanalo Gulch right now. <laughs> Let's thank everybody for staying. If you stayed this long, you're you're really awesome. Um, you're, you're, if you stayed this long, you're like beyond awesome. And yeah. uh, don't forget to like the video, share the video with everyone, everyone including Batman's villains, Joker, Riddler, Penguin, Mister Freeze, everybody. All right, and don't forget to check out our second channel, which is Cody Diecast. We are. H Dub Five O. You viewers, big mahalos to you guys for hanging out. Hope you guys got lunch and dinner for watching this video. If you check out the end screen, you see links to our previous video, a video YouTube thinks you like, and a link to our second channel. Again, Cody Diecast. So go check it out. We got more stuff coming up. Stay there.